Hey guys, just a quick follow up here. I wanted to show you we're currently running at 200 milliamps, 4.3 volts. It is set to 400 milliamps, 9 volts, but it's not using that. And this has been going for over 10 minutes already. It's triggering. And it's spinning. I just finished pulling the whole thing apart. I had to rebalance the wheels. I had to reset the space on the coils to the magnets. Uh, just a lot of finicky stuff. I found one coil was actually turned backwards, so I reattached that. I reattached all the coils in a different configuration. Uh, but we're rolling, which is amazing. This is the first time I've ever gotten this to work at this up to this point. So, holy crap. I'm really excited. Still 200 milliamps, still 4.3 volts, maybe a little less. But this has been going. I hadn't recorded it initially, but it just hadn't stopped. It just kept going and going and going. And I think I'm at about 15 minutes here now. It's actually not slowing down. Let me grab my uh, speedometer here. Maybe we can have a look, see at the speed. I don't have a reflector on here, but let's see what happens. Let's just... They're around 100 RPM. Okay. No blue smoke. Yeah, Coils are not hot. Same voltage. Not hot. Not hot. Not hot. There is no electronics in this at all. It's just coils, trigger, and a steady amperage. So if we can get the capacitor bank that I'm looking for attached here somehow and juice it up, then we should be able to pulse this. And I'm only running this with four coils and one trigger coil right now. I still have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 coils to make. But I'm a little short on copper, so still going. Success! Yes! Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.